Hello, this is a quick build log uh, for a Silverstone RVZ03-ARGB um, Mini ITX incredibly slim uh, desktop case which is uh, capable of housing the graphics card vertically and has intake on the uh, direct intake with positive air pressure and on the other side direct intake uh, positive air pressure for the CPU fan and it takes full size ATX power supplies in this really slim uh, case and this whole area lights up with RGB it looks nice um, and uh, it's just a really interesting design and um, this video is also just to show uh, the person who had me do this for him um, how to install the unique mounting method of the graphics card. So that, that's the primary purpose of this video. Anyways, thank you for watching. Okay, time to put the graphics card in. We're going to move to the side panel first. Two screws, one right here, one right here. Now we remove the side panel. Now, bear in mind, fan has a connector right here. So we're going to grab the bottom part here and just push out or you can just grab that I guess uh, and then lift up but lift out like this and then there's gonna be a fan connected right here there's just so right here let's go ahead and pop that out I'll just leave that hanging there okay there's uh, your insides and uh, want to note rotate a bit this is where the board connects uh, right there and obviously before we do anything we need to remove these say the connections here just bear in mind you could easily uh, break the connection on the SSD so just be very uh, I would with the power one I'd grab it with with uh, both sides if you can kind of this wiggle it's pretty stiff but just pull directly this direction don't go up or do not do this just out 
like that uh, and just give it time and then the Seda has a little clip on the bottom. Now move these just out of the way for now, just kind of off the side. And uh, now there's some screws to remove. There's six screws. I'll point them out right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I've tried to frame this the best I can. Um, there is a graphics card release lever right here, right where this this uh, card here ends. You can see this the slot for the graphics card, and there's a little bit of release. Just put your finger in there and just press it all the way down. Uh, if it doesn't do much, it's okay. Just make sure it's it's down and pressed. This is where you want to slow down and be careful when we're removing this this part. But mainly, you want to get uh, this board loose first. So this board you want to kind of grab with, 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 with two hands. You don't really want to be grabbing the plastic side, you want to be grabbing the silicone and just kind of pull at the same time, kind of alternating slightly. And then this whole thing should just lift right out, just like that. Great, okay, we're making progress. Now is the time we're going to mount our graphics card. I'm going to start by removing these two screws and the plates with it. So in the bag you'll, you'll have seen this, this uh, part. Um, you need to attach this first to your card. Attaches just like that. Notice these two slots for the, for the, for the PCI slots. So when you're installing the card here, slide them into there, click it in, right? Just like that. Hear that nice click and you'll see that it made contact. And so now it's safe to put the screws back in right here. I like to always do a half, here I do a half spin uh, counterclockwise first to make sure we don't thread it wrong and then I drive it home. That, that should be good enough. So this is optional and unfortunately I can't really show fully how this um, goes in but what this is is a support bracket so that um, card doesn't wobble so much under its weight and has a bit of a catch uh, in transport. Um, and uh, the problem though is that uh, you'll see in a moment this testing card I'm using, this 970 GTX, has these pipes that stick out too far and these fins actually are too raised on the fans so the clamp doesn't really have anywhere to purchase because it doesn't go all the way out to here. Um, but anyways, try, try not to complicate things too much. Um, you'll see on the back of the board here there is these holes here. This part here with the little uh, things on the bottom will line up to anywhere on the back side of the, of the thing and you just gotta find a place and place the screw right in there on that side we have a screw hole right here and that's where this part of the clamp goes so the rubber faces the card obviously for vibration screw in, the, in that part right there it more or less um, I'd have to, if I put it down all the way where it could go, then uh, once gravity comes into place, the fan will not be able to spin now. Let's see, I can't spin the fan once, once I put some gravity on it where it would be actually doing. So I'm going to have to take this out. Okay, so we're almost there. But first we need to, before just placing it back in, we need to uh, insert power to the graphics card. Those to it. Looks like my power cables are preventing me from 
bringing it over further. So I'm going to have to be creative with this. There's just not a lot of room to push this, but I managed to kind of get it just flat enough so that I can kind of dip it in the recess here, and then I can actually get it to get in, in position to be locked in. So there's two notches, one right here and here. You want to try to line up the card right there, just like that. On this side, you want to line up the slot with the slot, and it's probably best to just, what, just like when you took it out, you grab both sides with, with your fingers and just push down all the way. You should, you should, you should hear it click in just like installing a normal graphics card. So now our card's in there, it's got power, now we just put the screws on. Don't forget to reconnect the SATA SSD. I would do it reverse order, so do the data cable first, and then ro roll over to the power cable. And this one does need a bit of pressure when putting it in, just, just a reminder, be careful, kind of edge it in there, going this direction. Reconnect that fan power. And just a reminder, when you're putting the panel back on, try to squish in this uh, um, cable set to the back, just because you don't want to get to get the CPU fan. Probably good to, uh, when you get the computer, to uh, do a test power on the integrated graphics first before doing all this, just to make sure it survives shipping and everything. Ah, but wait, one more thing. Um, as you can see, I cannot put on the proper foam packaging uh, for the box with the rubber feet on. Um, so, they do take some force. So, I'll try to take one out. This fat rubber part, which you would think wouldn't fit, has to fit in any of these slots here. So, when you do get the computer um, bit more or less all you have to do is just kind of get that lip in there. You can also use something like a screwdriver or something to kind of uh, help kind of push it in like that. But, but that's all. You just have to kind of cram them in there and uh, they work really well. Anyways, it's incredibly small cable management and it is posting fine, sounds good. I really like how this case uses positive air pressure with these magnetic air filters um, to pull in directly over the graphics card and directly over the CPU on the other side. Um, cool air with these really nice, slim, quiet fans. All right, thank you, bye-bye.